What's up guys? So I absolutely did not plan a video today, but earlier I did wake up and I made my husband some breakfast. I made him that Korean breakfast sandwich that I had mentioned yesterday in my video and he absolutely loved it and he insisted that I do a video on it for y'all. So sorry if your girl looks a little rough. I just got up earlier, wasn't planning this, but I would love to do a video on this breakfast sandwich for y'all. So let's get to cooking some breakfast. All right guys, so to make our breakfast sandwich today, I'm going to be using my flat top griddle. I just need to clean it up real quick. All right, so we have it all nice and cleaned up. I did use this one this morning, but I feel like this one is way bigger and it'd just be better for the camera view. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this one in. Just insert this thing in here. Okay, we have our plug. Can't plug this in either. All right, so we're going to start warming this up and I'm gonna just going to put it on 350 or 300, like in the middle, and that'll start heating up, but we're going to get our ingredients together. One other thing I almost forgot, I got a new Instant Pot today. I found it like on the Facebook Marketplace and it's like brand new. She only used it once and I got it for only 70 bucks. And it's the six quart. I do have a bigger one, which is the eight quart, but I really wanted another one that was smaller. So this was an awesome deal. And it's the Instant Pot Duo Nova. You can always buy like a little extra insert for like your bigger Instant Pot, but I just wanted a whole nother one because this just makes cooking for me so much faster. And I can do so many things at once with two different Instant Pots. So this was a really good deal. I was very happy about this purchase. All right, so now we're gonna grab a couple of our ingredients that we're going to be using. So for the Korean salad, Sandwich. it does have some cabbage in it so we have some cabbage here then for our meat we're going to be dicing up this breakfast ham slices you could totally use any ham that you like so we have some of this and then of course we just need one egg and then we're gonna uh, we need some cheese so you're gonna want like some extra white cheddar cheese for on top then we'll grab one more ingredient we're going to be using some honey. I did get the sugar-free honey that I showed you on my video yesterday. Um, so this was the best one that I could find that was sugar-free. All right, so I'm going to put a couple of these ingredients down. We have a couple more ingredients to grab. Oh, and I am using like my flat spatula to be all fancy. This is pretty hot. This is already heated through. We're going to leave that there. Now we just need a couple more ingredients. All right, so we have some butter, some mustard, and then for our ketchup, we are using the no sugar added. And then we also need, for our bread, we're going to be using some solo bread today. And the sweet and buttery. And these are all our ingredients. All right, so first I'm gonna chop up my cabbage. I had another one this morning, but I used it all, so now I have a fresh one that I need to chop up. And you don't need much. This is just for one or two sandwiches, so you just need very little. And you're just gonna chop it up into like slices. Just like this. And then we'll, rin we'll rinse it off. All right, so we're gonna take this to the sink and just rinse off our cabbage. All right, so I'm gonna put my cabbage into my strainer and just rinse it off really well. I just let it drain right here so all the water can come out. All right, after your cabbage is all nice and mixed, I have my whisk right here and you're gonna want like a little bowl to mix your egg in with your cabbage. All right, first step we are going to do is toast our bread. So you're gonna wanna put some butter onto your flat griddle. And since we are using the solo bread, it doesn't take that long to toast, but you have to be careful because it will burn really fast. So this is a solo bread and sweet and buttery, and they are two net carbs each, and they are so good, so, so good. This is my favorite bread. Look at this, they look delicious. And we're just gonna toast them on each side. On one side, sorry. While that is toasting, you can go ahead and crack your one egg into your bowl. 
and go ahead and break it up. And then you're going to add a handful of cabbage to this. Just like that. And then you're just going to mix it all well together. I know, a little odd, cabbage and eggs, but I promise you it tastes really good. You're gonna be surprised. Just like that, and we're gonna wait for our bread to toast. You see how they always like tap in the thing. <laughs> if y'all see like the Korean street people, they always have like these spatulas and they're always like, like when you go, to, what is it, Shogun? Where they cook in front of you and they're always like tapping it for no reason. <laughs> You're a weirdo. <laughs> I think I need to higher this heat just a little bit. I'm gonna hire it to 350 because it's at 300. There you go. Toast it a little bit faster. You just have to wait for this to toast. All right, so while my bread is toasting, I'm actually going to be slicing up my ham. So I'm using three slices. And you just wanna slice them into strips. Very simple. You want to keep them nice and chunky. Like me though. Like you though. Yeah, like me. Just like this. And our bread is getting pretty toasted over here. So once it toasts all the way, you're just going to want to take them off and put them to the side because you don't want to burn them. Let me get a plate to put them on. All right, I got my plate. Sorry for a little unorganized. This was literally like a last minute. We're going to do this kind of video. So my bread is nice and toasted. And I'm just going to take it off, put it to the side so you don't want it to burn. Now I'm going to add a little bit more butter to my flat top so we can start cooking up our egg. Alright, now we're going to start pouring our egg and our cabbage right on here. Then we're gonna put our cheese. I'm using the New York Extra Sharp Cheddar Cheese. You're gonna put a handful right on top of this. Then you're going to add your sliced ham and you're gonna let the egg cook through. While your egg is cooking, you're gonna get your sugar-free honey and you're gonna add it to one side of your bread. Mmm, just like that. And then you're gonna dab it on the other side of the bread. I'm gonna just wait for your egg to get nice and crispy. You want your egg nice and crispy on one side and then we're gonna flip it so the ham cooks on the other side. All right guys, once your egg is nice and crispy, you wanna carefully try to flip it. And then we're gonna let the ham cook on the other side. All right guys, once your ham is nice and crispy, you're gonna flip it over again. Bam. Just like that. I'm gonna lower my heat because I don't want my egg to get too cooked. Then on top of this, you're going to add some mustard on top of your ham. And then you're going to add some sugar-free ketchup. We're gonna add our toast back to our griddle with our honey. We're gonna carefully scoop it onto the bread. And there you go, guys. Enjoy yourself a nice breakfast Korean sandwich. It's hot. Got plate it. Ooh, it smells good. That honey, I'm gonna let it cool down and I'm gonna try it. All right guys, so my husband said that this sandwich is really good and I have to try it. So let's give it a try. This is how it looks. It's gonna be messy. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Told you. Yeah. Really good. This is really good. It's delicious. It's an odd mix, but it all works together. Big thumbs up. I highly recommend this sandwich. Y'all should definitely give it a try. All right, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this quick recipe of this Korean breakfast sandwich. And just so you know, it is Korean approved by my dad. <laughs> so please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see y'all in my next video.